I just wanted to take a few minutes of your time and talk about BDPA. Has anyone any familiarity with BDPA? If you could raise your hand. Perfect. So I'm not alone. <laughs> well, BDPA is Black Data Processing Associates. It was founded 40 years ago by two gentlemen who felt like they were the only ones in the room. And they wanted to open it up and find other diverse IT professionals like them. So they formed this organization. Shortly after that, they decided that they needed to have a purpose other than just getting together and talking to each other about technology. They needed to add value. So they had decided that they would go into the STEM world. But then we didn't really call it STEM. We just called it training. So they trained their technology peers. They worked together. They had what we call meetup groups and SIGs. And they came together to decide how can we still be better? What can we do? And that's where it came from. Now, for me, as Pamela, I knew nothing about BDPA. I worked for HSBC, and I worked in the technology field. And they said, we sponsor BDPA, which means that you will go, and you will do, and you will not just be a member, you will participate. And I was like, why? <laughs> Why do I have to do that? Don't, why can't I just go to work and go home? And they said, no, you will do that. But once I learned more about the organization and what the mission was from the classroom to the boardroom, I embraced it. And I was very excited about it. So let me tell you about the classroom to the boardroom. So when we started talking about teaching our peers about what we knew about technology and what others knew, we saw something broader we saw that there was even a bigger gap than just diversity at the professional level. What were our future people going to look like from diversity and technology? And that's when we started working with youth. So we work with youth as young as sixth grade, and we teach them how to develop, how to build web apps, how to build mobile apps, how to present a project, how to become a PhD student, based on IT findings. And some of them do some really crazy things. Some of them try to hack into iPads. They just come up with all kinds of things that they feel are very important and valuable. But to take it a step further, we train thousands of students over the year. And then we make them compete to be the best. And when you're the best, you know you get benefits. You get internships, you get scholarships, which ultimately leads to you becoming a professional and getting a job so we can broaden this field. And so when we come to the next Velocity Conference, maybe you'll have all the BDPA people here too. So watch out for that. But <laughs> what we're really thinking about is how do you get to know BDPA? So the one, that's why I'm here. But what I'll say is we have a website, of course. Um, I have some materials, of course. But the best way to get to know BDPA is to do the research and to get involved. So when we talk about being involved, we don't just talk about being a member. We talk about how many of you are IT people in this room? Anybody? OK. <clears throat> Excuse me. So there's a direct link to you and BDPA. You all are the geniuses. You're the best of the best. You all have talent, you have vision, you have energy, you have so much to offer a child and another professional colleague. A lot of people don't get the chance to do the things that they love. You all are privileged that you get to do technology because you love it every day. There's other people who have to do some other boring stuff like, um, let me think, what do they do? Whatever they do, they don't do technology. <laughs> but. You get to do that. So it's important that we, as responsible technology people, give back. We give back to the community. We give back to students. We give back to each other. I was in some dynamic sessions yesterday, and I felt like everybody was talking to me, even though some of the things I did not quite understand. But I learned, 
and I was really excited about it. It's something I can do research on, and I can take it a step further. And that's what we ask at BDPA. We ask that you get involved with us. Um, ultimately, we'd love for you to be a member, but if not, we have several speaking opportunities. I've heard some dynamic speakers. I'm looking forward to the ones today. You could always come and do that. Um, we also look for volunteers. Our students need training as well as our adults. So we do webinars, we have an annual conference, and we ask that people sign up to present there similar to here. So lastly, I'd like to tell you all that I have an office hour at 12 o'clock, and I know that you can't ask me any questions right now, but I'd love to talk to you about BDPA, why I'm there, and ask you to join me on this journey to technology with BDPA. I want you to come from the classroom to the boardroom with me. Understanding, everybody doesn't want to go to the boardroom. I get it, because some days I don't want to be in the boardroom as the president. But I definitely want to always embrace being in the classroom, continuous learning. We can't just stop if we do. I think we're just done. So I ask you to stop by and see me. I thank you for your time. I thank O'Reilly for inviting us. And I hope to see you soon. Thank you.